I want to show you a little about file saving and how to properly submit your work and how to save a document that you might still be working on. There's a difference. So if we look over here, notice what the file format is. The file format is anything that follows the period that's in the title. So the file format of this one is a PNG. The file of this one is a .acorn. Watch the difference in what they open up as. This one that says um, that has a file format of Acorn. When I double click on it, it automatically opens into Acorn, and all of my layers with all of my 4A students are still available, intact, and workable. If you are still working on something, you always save it as a .acorn. However, if you're done, you may not want to keep it as an acorn because they're much bigger files and they take up a lot of space on your computer. You also will have a hard time sending any images of a dot acorn because somebody who doesn't have acorn on their computer wouldn't be able to open this up. So I'm going to close out and I'm going to show you what happens when you save it as a PNG. When you save it as a PNG, as I've done here, so if you look at this one, the file format is PNG. I'm going to open it up. There we are, but my toolbar is not there, my layers are gone, and it's opening not in Acorn, but in something called Preview. Most people have the ability to open a PNG on their computer, so this is a good way to save your work when you're done with it. And this is also the way you're going to save your work when you're ready to submit it to Mrs. Mac. So that's the important, it's important that you know the difference between the two. So let's go ahead and I'm going to open this up and show you the steps to go about in order to change it so you can submit it to me. Um, let's say that you need to hand something in to me. The due date is here, but you're not quite ready to be done with it, but you need to hand something in. I'm going to show you how to duplicate this so that you can keep one as an acorn for you to work on and you can change one to a PNG that you can um, submit to me. So we're going to go to file and you're just going to use the duplicate option. If you click duplicate, voila, I now have two. One that's a dot acorn file that I can keep for using at a later time. I'm going to close out of that one. And one that is, um, as of right now, untitled, and I need to tell it what I tell the computer what I want it to be. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and you want to change the file format. So we want to change everything that's happening after the period, and you shouldn't need to type anything in. You should just be able to go down here to Format and select the type of format that you want. We're going to go with PNG and it automatically changes the PNG for me. As far as the file title, so everything that happens before the, the file format, you can go in there and you can change that to your first name, underscore, your last name, and the project title for this is self-portrait, so I'll just put an SP in there. Uh, where the file goes, I always keep everything on my desktop, but you might have another um, you know, you might have another routine that you like to go with. But I'm going to click desktop, and when I click save, it's going to tell me that because it's a PNG format, the layers are going to be gone. That's okay. That's what I want for this. So I'm going to go ahead and click save, and there it is. It's also on my desktop right here as Marie Mac SP PNG, and because it's a PNG format, when I click to open it, it's in preview mode, not in Acorn, and I can't edit or adjust it beyond what the preview options will let me do. Um, once you've saved it with the proper title and the proper file format, you're ready to go ahead into Google Classroom and submit. Can't wait to see your work.